God, what are you doing? It's not supposed to be this way. The life of the believer isn't marked by win after win and success after success and happy ending after happy ending. The life of the believer is trusting in the Lord when it doesn't make sense. The life of the believer is hoping, hope against hope, like Abraham, that God will be faithful. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Not only is it Faith Friday, but we are also celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. And that was a clip of our next guest who uses her faith and heritage to find hope rooted in something deeper. Yeah, what a treat for us. She tackles it all in her new book, Grit, Don't Quit. Please welcome Bianca Juarez Otoff. It is good to see you, my friend. Good to see you guys. Thanks for having me on. Of course. So in the book, you talk about the story of Paul and being resilient. Yes. How can this apply to our lives? You know, as I take a look at culture, not just here in our nation, but across the globe, there's been so many people that feel like they've been knocked down, coming out, and whether it's a loss of employment or loss of relationships, loss of stability. And uh, I was facing that as well. And so I went on this uh, trail of discovering, how do I build grit? How do I build resilience? And there's this one character in the Bible, his name is Paul. I call my Bible boyfriend. <laughs> and uh, no one typified resilience and grit more than this man did. In fact, he wrote an entire book to uh, his friends in Galatia. The book is called Galatians. And he he wrote about joy. He wrote about freedom. And yet he was imprisoned. Mm -hmm. And I said, if this man discovered that secret, how can I discover it for myself? And that is what started the journey of creating practical points and tips for people, uh, whole handles, if you will, to hold on to when life really feels like it's not them down. Okay, so how do we have more resilience in our lives? We're listening. Okay, so this is exciting. <laughs> this is exciting. I was homeschooled as a kid and it made me nerdy by trade. Okay, so I just started doing research on neuropathy and neuropathology and the brain. And what I realized is that whether you are born in poverty or prestige or privilege, grit is gettable. It's actually something that we could develop. And so and in calling my research, and I'm a preacher uh, by trade, and so I made them all start with P, but there's these three attributes that if you possess these, you may not possess them now, but if you cultivate the right perspective, the ability to pivot, and finding purpose in the moments of life's broken moments of pain, guess what? You are resilient. That's the hallmark. And so maybe your perspective feels that you're overwhelmed. Well, perspective is holding the reality while maintaining hope. So let's say you're having marital struggle. You can be honest by saying, my marriage is struggling, but we're going to counsel it, but we're going to church, but we're getting mentors. So that right perspective, ability to pivot, and finding pa pain that is producing a sense of purpose in your life. Oh, where does good. your faith come from? Yeah. Okay, well, I have to give credit where credit is due. My dad is from Mexico, my mom's from Puerto Rico, so I'm Mexican. rican And uh, what I love is that they typified this so beautifully. And I think that they instilled this in my life. I wouldn't necessarily say, I identified as a resilient person. But when you're res around resilience, it could foster and cultivate it. And so maybe yeah, you, you could up. be the answer to somebody's problem. You could be the solution to somebody's question by just showing up and saying, I'm gonna put one more foot, um, one more day of putting the next foot in front of the other, in front of the other. And it's inspiring to others. We have an adage here in the United States. When life gives you lemons, what do you do? Make lemonade. Make lemonade. <laughs> but I wanna take that one step further. I want to keep the seeds and plant them. So in a generation following me, yes, when life gives me lemons, I make lemonade and I plant the seeds so that one day people will stand in the orchard of the seeds I planted in pain and water with my tears to say, what was meant to take me out, it didn't keep me down. Ooh. Yeah, so don't get me started, honey. Yeah, <laughs> no, preach, sister. Well, you know, we want more. And on Faith Fridays, we always ask our guests to give us, you know, a little bit of advice, uh, you know, words of wisdom as we go mm. into the weekend and into next week. What you got for us? I just feel like there's a heaviness that has crept over our nation and the globe, a, a sense of soul darkness. And I want to speak to that person that just has one ounce of faith left. If the only thing that you did this morning was get up and brush your teeth, get the kids off to school, or just show up at a job that is mediocre at best, guess what? You are resilient. You've chosen to live your life. And if you are not dead, then God is not done. So get back up. Let the church say amen. All right, Bianca, thank you very much. We appreciate that. And you can pick up a copy of Grit Don't Quit everywhere that books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.